What in the world happened to the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT? What's going on Hellcat Squad? I am Hellcat Guy and today we're going to be going over a very sought after question in the Jeep community and that is what exactly happened to the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT? Now the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT first came out in 2006 when they released the WK1 SRT. Now this absolutely broke the market. Everyone loved the Jeep SRT because it had that big 6.1 liter naturally aspirated V8. Going from zero to 60 in under five seconds in an SUV back in 2006, which was ridiculous. If you guys remember the 2006 to 2011 Jeep SRTs had those big exhaust pipes down the middle that everyone just absolutely loved. Now fast forward to 2012, they came out with the WK2 body style. That is more of the modern design that's kind of based upon the new one just like the track hawk i have here today and then in 2017 they came out with the facelifted wk2 which is exactly the same body style as the track hawk that we have here now sales for the jeep srts have been absolutely incredible everywhere i go on the street i see jeep srts driven by soccer moms by soccer dads by children by, by everyone everyone drives a jeep srt by grandmas actually believe it or not just a couple doors down from me there is a lady she has to be 50 to 60 years old and she daily drives your track off i see it all the time but the main point is that everybody loves the jeep srt so why in the world in 2022 did jeep stop making them now to answer that question let's take a look at the current jeep lineup we have the all new jeep grand cherokee l and we have the new wagoneer and grand wagoneer zone but you'll notice that there is no new srt and there is no new track hawk for these model years there's actually no new performance jeeps anymore but what you see here is jeep building more luxurious vehicles kind of like the cadillacs kind of like the lincolns they're creating long style suvs that are full size there's no more really mid-size jeeps anymore they still have the normal cherokee but there is nothing quite like the wk2 anymore with a performance engine but guys we have to keep in mind one thing and that one thing is that jeep actually hasn't got rid of the 6.4 liter srt 392 engine that's right in the grand wagoneer series 3 they stuck the srt engine in that vehicle i'm, I'm kind of assuming because it's like six or seven thousand pounds and they need that big engine to power it but it kind of begs the question why wouldn't they create one of their best sellers the srt if they're still going to keep the srt engine in other vehicles and the grand wagoneer series 3 is like a hundred and thirty thousand dollars absolutely ridiculous for a jeep but i mean hey to each their own i personally would rather take the 2022 cadillac escalade premium sport oh so nice now the biggest reason that jeep hasn't created the srt or track hawk in 2022 is that they are pretty much not allowed to anymore and things are really going the ev route for example the new c63 amg is no longer a bi turbo v8 it is an inline six now who would have ever thought that a c63 would get rid of the big 6.3 liter v8 amg engine not me because that's the whole point of a 63 now that brings me into my second point about the jeep srt and the track now Jeep and Dodge are currently working on an inline six twin turbo engine. Now this can only suggest that the new engine for the SRTs and the, I don't think they're going to call them Trackhawks. I think they're going to be called something else. They're not going to be a Hellcat. Uh, the, the new engine is going to be an inline six twin turbo for these vehicles. They're going to go the same way that Mercedes is going. They're going to be, be shrinking the engines, making them more fuel efficient. They're still going to be quick, but they're not going to have that V8 sound like we have now. Like to be honest, I probably wouldn't have bought the Trackhawk if it had an inline six in it. It still would have been super cool. And some of the mods that are going to be done on the future SRTs RTs and Hell Hellcats are going to be super cool, but they're just not going to be like they are today. So I really do think there are more performance Jeeps coming into the future, but the, the ones that have been built from 2006 to 2017 to the Trackhawk in 2018 to 2021 are going to be instant classics when those vehicles come out because I, the, the V8s going to be done away with pretty soon. I don't think we're going to see it for too much longer unless some things change, you know. Now, like I said, even if they make the Jeep SRT in 2024, 2025, whatever, with the inline six, it's not going to be the same as it was before. That's pretty much the whole appeal of the Jeep SRT is the big American V8, the last of the muscle SUVs. There's not, a, there's not another muscle SUV out there. And don't tell me the Ford Mustang Mach-E is a muscle, muscle SUV. Um, there's pretty much only the Jeep and 
yeah, just a Jeep for new new uh, SUV muscle cars, muscle vehicles. So rest in peace, Jeep SRT 2006 to 2021. May you rest in peace forever in our heart. If you guys know anything else about Jeep SRTs or Jeep Trackhawk production, when it comes to the future, let me know in the comments down below or send me a message at HellcatGuy69 on Instagram. Guys, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps my channel out, helps me grow. I got some sweet content coming very soon to the channel. Uh, check out my last video. I showed you guys my new rims, my new Belgian VF5s, and I just got my rubber in. They are the Nitto uh, 315 20, no, 315 30 20, 315 35 20s. Sorry, I can't think today. Super wide rubber. They're gonna look nice on those Belgian VF5s. We are getting the Trackhawk slammed next month as well. Make sure you stay tuned for that. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, hit that subscribe button, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at HellcatGuy69, and we'll see you in the next one. Hellcat Guy signing off. Peace.